in one of the Facebook groups that I have joined, I seen people ask if you can 3D print a spring. So I took the opportunity, I went to Fusion. Springs are very easy to uh, design in Fusion. You can just click on the spring or coil, I think it's in Fusion. You put your diameter, your height, blah blah blah. I just added a ring here so she can stand. And now this is printed in PLA, normal PLA, just a cheap PLA that I have. 100% infill, what I mean with that, I used 5mm walls, 5mm solid bottom, so basically it is solid PLA. There is a lot of stringiness just because of the support, because you will have to use supports on it. Normal temperature, 0.2mm layer height. As you can see, it's a little bit, you know, it ain't perfect, especially here where the supports were. But it works great, and as you can see, it compresses without any issues. Yes, I can extend it, but not much. Because I, or I'm gonna break it all, I just a little bit, you know. But yeah, you can compress it all the way. And uh, people will say uh, plastic doesn't have uh, much springiness. Of course, it doesn't have much springiness because uh, the same thickness in metal will be much more harder to compress than the plastic. And uh, again, the metal doesn't have springiness, and you have to heal heat to it, if I'm not mistaken, to get the springiness of a. Uh, steel or whatever steel I guess they're made of so and again I don't recommend using this in a car I mean probably maybe in you know in the future days we're gonna try to do something like that to so just build a whole shack for a car and see if it if we're gonna put them in four corners if it can support a car and um, maybe like a different plastics like I wanted to do it with TPU but TPU I believe it will be too soft Maybe like a PATG carbon fiber or nylon or something that's much more stronger than PLA will have a little bit more stiffness, will be a little bit more hard to compress. This one is very easy. And I found a way that I'm gonna use my uh, compact scale. We're gonna try to see, I don't know if this is the right way, but that's how I'm gonna try to test how much force do we need to compress the spring. So let's do that now and we're gonna see how many kilos it takes to compress the spring. So this is just a regular scale, small scale I will be using. I will power, power it up. We're not gonna go. We're gonna go with the kilos, not the grams, with kilos. And of course, when you're gonna put it, it already shows you that this uh, weighs 53 grams. That's the filament that was printed. Let's see if it's yes, 53 grams. So that's the amount that takes to print this one without the support. With the support, a little bit different. And now I'm gonna compress it. Again, this isn't 100% accurate. I just I figured out that would be the best way to show you how many kilos it takes to compress. And I'm gonna try to compress it all the way. It takes around three and a half kilos to four kilos to compress. Again, I'm not trying to push down to get an uh, inaccurate, uh, and I did a mistake. I should have zero it. I'm sorry for that. So let's go again. So now it's zero, and now. Again, until I feel that it's uh, it's touching all the way, it's around four kilos. Again, I don't know if this is accurate how I'm doing it, but it looks like around four kilos, as you can see. So yeah, it seems like it takes four kilos to compress her. Again, and this one gonna break. The only other thing I can think is after doing many times, you know, compress, uh, decompress, whatever, it will start to all crack or maybe PLA from what I can see doesn't like sound, just because it will become brittle. That's maybe one of the issue with PLA and springs. But for application like an RC car, like, I don't know, of course not bicycle, but uh, again, RC car or something like that, This I believe this will be really nice. A thing to have. You can have a soft suspension in your RC and print it almost for free because this for an RC this will take like maybe one to one to two grams maybe depends your settings. So yeah you can 3D print spring. Again I'm not saying that you use it in your bicycle, your motorcycle or in your car but for a different application or 3D printing application, you can 3D print springs as long as you're gonna... Of course, if you're gonna try to... Do, I had did try before to use something like that with the normal settings that Creality gives, which means 0.8mm walls and 0.8mm stone bottom layers, this will become in pieces. But if you do it 100% in basically solid PLA, as you can see, the PLA has a little bit of springiness. 
again I would like to see like PATG, ASA, ABS how those things will react but I believe we're gonna wait for the opportunity to put them on a car maybe and see if we can get any springiness at all I'm gonna go and buy a Civic to put low end springs made from PLA something like that I don't know but yeah this is a nice experiment again I'm not sure if this is accurate what the scale says and I don't even know if the scale is accurate if it's really 4 kilos of force but it feels like 4 kilos it really falls. So even if I put my drill on it, as you can see, nothing. And I'm not holding it. I'm only holding it so it will not fall down. And didn't even compress. So let's see how much my drill weights. So put it here. She weighs one kilo. So exactly one kilo. Nothing. I have this. I have this box full of tools. I'm gonna add some more. We're gonna try to see if we can make it i'm gonna add some batteries see if we can make it four kilos and i'm gonna try to put it on top of the on top of our spring this is two kilos as you can see two kilos with some things let's say two kilos let's say let's see if we're gonna again i'm not holding it i'm only holding it so it will not fall down then we move the scale by the side again i'm not holding it only holding it so it will not fall down and it's not compressed all the way. Again, again, again. It should have done it, but it will have two flat spaces. Again, I'm not holding it. And again, it's not compressed all the way. So, yeah, it, it is a win. So yes, you can 3D print a spring from PLA, again this doesn't have the same specs as doing it from steel. But for some uh, small application this will work fine. Uh, again, we're gonna see in the future. Maybe we're gonna put it on the car, I would like to, I had that idea to put it, to 3D print the whole shock. And put a 3D printed springs on a car. But again, you have to wait for that video until we can buy a car that we can do that, that we're gonna be pity to destroy it. Again, some people say to try to try to stretch it. As you can see, it can stretch. Again, I'm gonna break it. But I'm not gonna break it because I'm trying to put a force and it compresses without any issue. I don't know what other filament would be the best to do a spring, but PLA seems to work really good. As for IC cars, I should have tried to to print the whole suspension for it, but I don't have such a big car. Because as uh, smaller this gets, as thinner this gets, less compression, uh, less uh, power it will take to compress it. So, and bigger that this will get, probably this, let's say that this compress at 4 kilos. If you're gonna make it 100% bigger, probably this will compress on 8 kilos. Again, let me get some more filament that we can test it, and we're gonna try to print them bigger. I'm wondering if we have printed really the whole a size of a car spring what how much force it would take to compress that and maybe making it a little bit longer it will affect the compress again or maybe it will start breaking but yeah very easy to design again go to fusion make a coil and you're gonna see by yourself i'm gonna make this available for free for whoever wants it this would be a good i don't know maybe a stand for something uh, i have a 3d printed knife here it's a great stand for something you can make it bigger make it as a coaster i probably gonna that's how i'm gonna make it uh, name it that if you're gonna make this maybe 100 percent bigger you can make it as a coaster you're gonna have a spring coaster again thank you for watching subscribe like and share and i hope i will see you in the next one